um, what we're going to be doing here is assembling the spindle uh, to the, uh, we're getting the spindle ready for the CNC device. And I've decided to go with a DWP, DeWalt DWP 611. Originally came with the base uh, plunger kit, um, and, but you don't need it. You just need uh, essentially a rotational tool. All right, from precise bits, we were able to get uh, essentially there's a collet nut and a collet. And um, it, it got two different sizes. Uh, it's the first time I've done this, so I'm assuming one size. One size is for, um, uh, depending on the size of the tool, the drill bit that you're using. But uh, the idea being as this tightens up, it centers it much more accurately than the, the one that comes with uh, the DeWalt tool. Uh, never done this before, so bear with me as we go through it. I believe we just essentially lock that down, undo it, okay, and so this is the collet that comes, and the collet nut that comes with the DeWalt. So simply drop that in there, and when you drop it in, when they put it in, when you when you drop it in, uh, it's um, precisely engineered and it'll squeeze evenly around around the edges. And so, and then I'll drop the collet nut on there. That looks good. With with the kit comes a collet wrench, and uh, as you can see there, it has um, the fingers that fit inside the grooves there. So just like uh, just like doing dealing with a regular you know, router. You just you know, lock it down, and you can tighten it up, and there it goes. Boom. The bits that I got, I got several different bits, and this is the first one here. I'm gonna try out is an eighth inch diameter shank. Um, it's point oh one two five. Um, well, that's eight in, eighth of an inch. Three flutes, half inch depth of cut, and this this is going to be essentially our our primary cutting. And I need to push there, pops open. I love these kits. You know, very very nice. And so you just drop drop that in like that. There's a little white tab on there. I'm assuming it stays on there. Lock in the spindle. And then just tighten it up. And there you go. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. All right. So I'm going to take this out. All right. Get, getting this uh, collet out was a bit of a problem once once it was down in, inside there. So I'm not sure. Maybe I did something. Maybe there's a little trick to that. But when, once it tightened up, the collet held it pretty tight and so I couldn't get the, the bit out. But once once that collet loosened up, I was able to release that, the the um, um, bit was able to come out. So all right, so I'm gonna put that aside for now. And then back in the case. Close it up. And the collet's uh, got a couple of different sizes um, so that we can um, deal with the uh, diff different size bits. And I'll put that aside for now. Put the collet nut back on here. Just hand tighten it. All right. Uh, so this is the holder that came. This is the holder that came with the uh, CNC. Uh, it's pretty, you know, uh, sturdy there. It's uh, you know, two pieces of aluminum. It's bolt bolted here, and this this side will bolt to the CNC. Um, just large uh, Phillips head screws holding it in place. The CNC spindle just fits inside or should just easily fit inside. There we go. That does nicely. 
All right, so with the CNC assembled, what we're going to do is attach the spindle head. It came with a little set of, set of bolts with spacers on them. The spacers are important. With, with the original CNC, and the screws were already there. Yeah, I'm old school. Don't have a electric drill doing this or battery operated drill. All right. So I've got the drill in there. And so you can see when you put it on there, it actually um, it will compete with, with that. So it has uh, spacers that you can put on there. And we'll see about how far off it takes it. One. Two, three, and D. Get them started. All right, you'll see me twisting backwards. Yeah, I know the difference between uh, you know a righty tighty, lefty loosey. Uh, one one of the things I learned years ago when uh, you know uh, threading a screw in you know into metal is actually twist it backwards and with apply a little pressure, and then you can actually feel it pop when the grooves are in alignment, and then when they're in alignment, then you can move forward. And I always like to go, especially dealing with rigid structures like this, diagonals. Yeah, it might be a little animal retentive as far as that goes, but hey, I'm entitled. All right, that's pretty straightforward, solid. Um, it's not off enough that it will clear this. So the maximum height is going to be there. One thing that this does not come with that I really think it should is some safety switches. Um, there's instructional set on the website on how to um, add your own, but seriously, uh, you know, I, would, I would have paid the extra 40, 50 bucks to have that done for me. But it is what it is. All right. Next comes the spindle. Right, so on the DeWalt, the power switch is on the, well, technically it's the front, but uh, most of my cables are on this side anyway, so I'm going to have that go to that side. And as it stands down, I don't know how far down to make this go, so I'm just going to put it here for now. Tighten. Oh yeah, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm tightening up the screw. And uh, this seems that seems pretty solid. Yeah, I've, uh, I assembled this uh, about a week, uh, two weeks ago, so. There's a little bit of play here, so I don't know how that's going to impact it. I might want to tighten these up a little bit later on. All right. Okay, so, so far, got the spindle attached, got the collet on here. Um, I'm probably going to put a screw or something like that so that I don't lose that collet wrench. 
And uh, so the next part will be to set up the computer and the controller.